Okay, in our previous video, we talked about how to take this system, draw a free body diagram, and so through the help of a free body diagram and a Laplace transform, we ended up with the transfer function x of s over f of s, which we'll call g of s, is 1 over ms squared plus bs plus k. Um, hopefully, you remember from physics that stiffness by itself or mass by itself not super relevant in determining the natural frequency, but it turns out that omega n is actually the square root of k over m. And so similarly, my claim is that if we took this 1 over ms squared plus bs plus k and multiplied through by 1 over m divided by 1 over m, uh, basically we're trying to get at what are z and omega n. So if I did that, I end up with 1 over m in my numerator and then s squared plus b over m s plus k over m, which might not look a ton better. Um, I see that as an intermediate form. Where I'm trying to get at is that 1 over m divided by s squared plus b over m s plus k over m is actually equal to, I can rewrite that denominator as s squared plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n squared. And so I want to talk about how, does, how do I know that this and that are the same. Uh, one of the things that happens, it, it comes back to what are the roots or the poles of this transfer function, what are the roots of the denominator. And so if I take ms squared plus bs plus k and set it equal to zero, the poles are the values of s that make that true. And so we're going to go to the quadratic formula. We're going to go with a negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Hopefully you remember that from high school. So those are the s of our poles. Um, and so a in this case is m and c is k and b is b. So something very important happens at this value, b squared is equal to 4mk. If b is less than that value, then we actually have complex roots. Um, so b, I'm going to define this to be b critical. So b critical is the value of b that causes b squared to equal 4mk. If b is less than b critical, that means we have complex roots. Um, and in our case, that means we're going to mean we're going to call that underdamped. If B is greater than B critical, then we have two distinct real roots, and that is overdamped. And if you're a mathematician, you might care about B exactly equal to B critical. And that is defined to be critically damped. And that's an interesting case for mathematicians to consider, but we never know damping so well. To say that it is exactly equal to be critical is kind of an irrelevant case. So I'm going to talk about these two main cases, and mainly we're going to deal with this today. What do we do with complex roots? And so we're going to define a zeta that is the ratio of B to B critical. And so my claim, if you come back up to here, if this is equal to that, then I'm saying that b over m is equal to 2 zeta omega n. How can I make that claim? Um, if we come back over here to b critical, if we take the square root of both sides, we're saying that b critical is defined to be 2 times the square root of m times k. So zeta is b over 2mk square root, and omega n is k over m square root. So what happens if we take this and substitute it in there, and take that and substitute it in there? So we still kind of haven't proven this. And so 2 zeta omega n is equal to 2 b divided by 2 m k square root times k over m square root. Well, the 2's pretty immediately obviously cancel. 
and I'm going to write this as root m times root k and root k divided by root m. So we've got b root k divided by root m root k root m. And so the root k's cancel and we're left with b over root m times root m. And if we were mathematicians, we might be very concerned about the sine of m, yada, yada, yada. But as engineers, we know that we're talking about positive mass. And so root m is a real number times root m just gets us back m. And so we've shown that 2 zeta omega n is equal to b over m, which was precisely what we were trying to prove. So if I start with 1 over ms squared plus bs plus k, and I divide through by 1 over m, I get s squared plus b over m plus s, sorry, plus k over m. And I'm saying we can either prove this to ourselves with our definitions of b critical and zeta and so on and so forth. Um, or we can kind of beat it into our heads until it becomes second nature. I don't like to say memorize, but I just know that that is the correct form. Um, and so yeah, get comfortable with that form. And again, the definitions, omega n is root k over m. Hopefully that makes sense to you from physics. And then b critical comes from the quadratic formula. And so it is 2 times the square root of k times m. And then zeta is b divided by b critical. Where those are supposed to be subscripts.